During our journey towards a green kitchen, we've committed to a series of intentional actions over months. Now this is to help build important key habits. It hasn't always been easy, nor have we lived a sustainable lifestyle all our lives. Now naturally, there have been times when we've forgotten to unplug our power cords or left the water running a bit too long. The idea is to cut yourself some slack, build the momentum and make sustainable habits stick. Now, if you're looking to create an eco-green kitchen, here are 25 easy tips for sustainable living. Hi folks, Shehzadi here, registered dietitian. Welcome back to my channel, Desi Lishesden, Dietitian on Demand, where I share diet and wellness advice that cuts through the nutritional noise and serve up healthy Desi-licious recipes so you can be on top of your game. Here, you'll access free recipe, nutrition and wellness videos to inspire health whenever, wherever. So don't forget to subscribe. I hope that all of you are keeping healthy. Now, continuing with my blog post on easy ways to live sustainably, here are 25 more tips on making your life and kitchen green. What is sustainable living? Just to recap, our planet is only able to create a limited amount of natural resources and can only withstand a certain degree of greenhouse gas emissions in order to stay flourished. This is why we need to adapt to an eco-friendly lifestyle for the earth to remain happy and healthy. To make sustainable living more accessible, I've created a list of 25 tips to help you live a greener and happier kitchen life. So playing chef is even more enjoyable than usual. Ready? Let's do this. Make utensils last. Choose reliable cookware and utensils that won't be thrown away with your leftover biryani. For example, a good cast iron skillet will last for years. It is important to do your homework and choose eco-friendly cookware that requires less energy during cooking. Now, did you know ceramic-based non-stick cookware is a better option in helping to preserve oil supplies than a petroleum-based non-stick surface? Remember to check that your cookware is free of Teflon and PFOA, which are environmental contaminants and can be toxic. Use energy efficient appliances. Did you know that an efficient dishwasher can use a lot less water than hand washing your dishes? This is because most modern dishwashers have special energy efficiency settings which may save up to 20% of energy by using less power to heat water. Is your dishwasher energy efficient? Buy local. The food we buy is just as important as our kitchen appliances, so buy local food and support your farmers. Local shopping encourages us to purchase goods produced in our community. Many imported food items we buy travel over several thousand miles to reach our plate while shopping at supermarkets. By cutting down on these miles, we reduce the environmental impact of our food. Now, bulk buying encourages us to use fewer plastic bags, reduce packaging waste, minimize transport pollution because of fewer trips to the supermarket and also enjoy fresher products. Use non-toxic kitchen cleaning products. There are plenty of natural cleaning companies producing non-toxic, biodegradable, plant-based detergents. You can always create your own cleaning products using vinegar and baking soda to make a great, all-purpose, non-toxic cleaner. Use reusable plastic bags. Purchase a reusable plastic bag, such as the ones made of recycled plastic or nylon. Not only will you save money, but reusable plastic bags also reduce the amount of non-renewable resources necessary to produce plastic bags. Now, according to the Danish Environmental Protection Agency, your cotton tote bag may be reusable, but it takes considerable amount of energy to produce it. 
Now here we're talking about the high level of energy used to produce the cotton yarn, as well as the amount of fertilizer and water used during the growth of that cotton. Now bear in mind, the Danish researchers in their report did not consider the harm plastic does to the natural world when it's thrown away. I think the discussion around plastic use is complex. What's needed is a unified and collaborative approach from consumers, government and businesses to reduce excessive plastic use. What I will say is that if you choose plastic, just please don't throw it away after a single use. Seek products with minimal packaging. Try and always look for products with minimal packaging, preferably with sustainable material. For example, do you need to use those little plastic bags at the supermarket for your produce? Buy wholesome instead of preserved and ultra-processed foods. The more food products are preserved, aromatized or colored, the more harmful additives they contain. And as a result, they can also be poor in nutrients. Buy seasonal produce. A seasonal produce is rich in nutrients and mostly grows in natural atmospheric conditions instead of greenhouses. This also reduces traveling costs, which means less carbon emissions. Plan in advance. A lot of waste comes from not meal planning in advance. Did you know that my meal plans are quick and easy, perfect for hassle-free shopping tips, and I've left a link in the description box, so do check them out because planning is key. Donate unused food items. Don't overstock your pantry. And if there are unused food items that may not be used within their expiration date, then it is wiser to donate them and say no to hoarding. Shop eco-friendly, locally grown and fair trade. Take a step further by choosing eco-friendly, locally grown food items from a fair trade store if possible. Now, products that are certified fair trade ensure impartial trade practices at every level of the supply chain, which actually helps in eradicating poverty. This translates to a high level of transparency and traceability in global supply chains and food quality. Practice green cooking. Whenever possible, you should consider grilling some of your food outdoors to reduce energy use. Now, your food will most likely be cooked by heated charcoals, which are carbon neutral and are a more efficient fuel for cooking. Plus, did you know that using your slow cooker is regarded to be an eco-friendly way to cook? It's because they do not require high temperatures and use very little power. Smart storage. Store food correctly in order to keep it fresh for longer. Now, for example, airtight, recyclable containers keep food from sweating and spoiling. Say no to foil and plastic wrap too, and consider beeswax wraps instead. Save your vegetable scraps and peels. Now, don't forget that vegetable peels can be used to make stock, stew or soup bases. Yes, it's that simple. Say no to paper towels. Disposable paper towels are expensive and unsustainable. Instead, use tea towels or small dish towels to reuse them after a wash. Avoid throwing away unused water. Instead of throwing away unused water from cooking, boiling and washing produce, use it to water your plants. Fix leaks immediately. A leaking tap is both annoying and wasteful. Now make sure your taps are properly turned off just how you check for a hob on a stovetop. Clean your oven and hob space. Now leftover bits of food may absorb extra heat which can lead to your hobs working less efficiently. Make sure to clean your cooking space after each use. Food items for sustainable living. I'm often asked about foods that are environmentally friendly. Now, almost all foods come with caveats of some kind. However, there are clear choices that will make your diet eco-friendlier. Here are some examples. Garden peas. Now, peas naturally fix nitrogen into the soil, making them an eco-friendly alternative. Beans. Like lentils, beans are a great vegetarian vegan protein source. 
In total, dry beans only contribute about two kilograms of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere for every kilogram consumed. Broccoli. Did you know broccoli production releases less carbon than driving one mile in your car? Yes, that's correct. Potatoes. Potatoes are water efficient crops and can be stored for long without rotting. Old fruit. Now don't throw away fruit that looks old or rotten. Chuck it in a blender to make delicious smoothies instead. For inspiration, check out my last green smoothie video here. The link is in the description box. Citrus peels. Now before throwing away citrus peels, don't forget how zest is full of vitamin C, which also adds to flavor and brightness. And there you have it folks, my top tips for sustainable living. How do you live a sustainable lifestyle? Now don't forget to tell me in the comments section I'd love to know and until I see you again, take care. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment. I'd love to know what topics you'd like me to dive into next and let me know what recipes you want me to cook in the Desi Licious kitchen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.